seconds. <clears throat> 20 seconds. How you doing over there? I'm doing all right. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, you sound beautiful. Yeah, all you right. You need to smile when you talk, though. Is this better? Smile. Can you, uh, yeah, you, you can can hear, hear the a smile? Difference. You, I can hear a difference, man. <laughs> yeah, you sound beautiful. Yeah. Oh, oh, hell. Who has their sound up? I know who it is. Mr. Smiley. <laughs> Mr. Happy Pants. <clears throat> Hello and welcome this to is... another episode of... Oh, wait. Now i got to do the sound here. Great. It's right here. Ooh, I just noticed a spider. I didn't see it. Oh, either. wow. It's scary. Yeah, enough. I didn't see the spider either. I, I was sitting there putting it up while know, you were... I, you no, were I saw you working on the... Oh, shit. I saw you working on the pumpkin and the skull. The skull. I didn't see you working on the spider. All right, let's get this going. <laughs> hey, welcome to Stuck in Beta. Hey, who, who did that maniacal laugh? I don't who know. I, it's a sound bite. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, you had to, probably had to pay for that, didn't you? It 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 cost me fifty bucks. Oh, wow, not too bad though. Do we have a sponsor that paid for that? Uh, no, Larry's towing no, or anything? we don't. We don't have any sponsors. Hmm. I'm Greg. With me is uh, Freddie and Nancy. Hello, Freddie and Nancy. I don't know. Really? No. You know, Halloween theme? Yeah, I know. I was thinking about it. Episode? Freddy? No. Freddy Krueger? Yeah, okay. I would have been a pure Nancy guess. Nancy was the girl in the oh, first okay. episode. That would have been a... Yeah. Good job. <laughs> no, I mean, good job. You stumped us. Is that the first time you've ever, you've ever stumped us? But you I s- think so. But you said it like... Uh, Asshole. Like, <laughs> good job. <laughs> I didn't mean Jerk. it that way. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I didn't mean it that way. Sorry. Hey, man. It is hey, uh, October 25th today. We're uh, we're getting to be, what is it, a week away? A week away. Six, six days. Six days. Six days from Halloween. Yep. Yeah, so I, look at how spooky this set is. <laughs> For those of you watching, do you have more extension cords? I don't. Yeah. Look Come how on, dangerous. Josh. Give me, get, at least a fire give me a laugh out of that. Come on. <laughs> Speaking of fire hazards, <laughs> we went to this fire safety dinner. Oh, yeah, that's right. After the show, that's why we had to end the show last week. Yeah. Time. Yeah. Um, and speaking of scary, right? Oh, you man. came home yeah. scared? Oh, no. Well, speaking of scary, this set makes me scary. So. Makes you scary? Makes me scary. Makes me scared. So the, we went to this. It was at the pasta house. We got a free. We didn't get a choice of what food. Really? No. They they just brought out like we. Great. Well, let me st- let me interrupt. Okay, you. let's. Greg's go. gonna be completely negative and just hate on Greg? this. Greg, yeah. wait, yeah. wait. Yeah, Greg. So just a caveat there. Go ahead and continue. Was it a plated dinner or was it buffet style? No, it was like a um, like you if a. Uh, Gosh, what do you call that? Like everybody got the same thing. It, yeah, was, it was a plate. Yeah, everybody yeah, got it was plate. plated. Nobody, yeah. you didn't have to stand right. in line. Okay. No, no, no. They brought so it out they brought you. out rolls and salad, and then uh, the rolls aren't bad. What did we get? What did Chicken masala and uh, some pasta. That's it a was good. good. Dish. It was good. Yeah. So I don't then, hear any hating yet. No. Well, then we he's had, complaining he didn't get to choose what he had. Oh, for okay. Yeah, yeah. If I went in the mood for chicken, they <laughs> you know did, about you know the mood has to strike. <laughs> We did all order well, except Molly. Like, like waffle. Cream. We ordered beers, and yeah. you know, so they took care of the beers too. And we so. ordered small beers, and they brought us big beers. Huh? Well, I got the small beer. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I saw you coming. <laughs> okay. Anyway, <laughs> so the, so the guy uh, gets <laughs> up there and he does a whole thing about fire safety. Spiel. Which was um, he wearing a Smokey the Bear costume? No, he was just wearing a polo. Uh, no with, pants with his uh, <laughs> no pants with his company logo or whatever. That's weird. And he gave like a whole PowerPoint presentation asking everyone what the uh, where a fire will happen most in, in your, your house, ho- yeah. home, like you know, kitchen, kitchen, garage, uh, attic, bathrooms, attic, basement. Yeah, around your so furnace. your entire house. Pretty yeah, much. except the bedroom. Yeah. Oh, no, bedroom, master bedroom was like, has risen in the ranks, he said, because right. everybody puts their, Cell you know, phones. our parents have their 
adults, I guess, have their phones charging. Yeah. Yeah. So, actually, all the information was useful. It was good information. It was. Don't yeah. like the uh, light socket kind of information. Yeah, I mean, it was all it was all good information. Now, I'm going to have to say, Here comes most complaint. of the crowd was probably, okay, Josh and I are 40. Uh, two decades older than us. Yeah, wow. at least. Yeah. Do yeah. you think that's their demo? I mean, that, that obviously I that's know. on purpose. I, well, see, we got invited through a postcard that came in the mail, and I was like, oh, free dinner. I think that is. I think you're right because most people they answered like uh, they were answering questions like uh, when he would say uh, about oh. this and this one. I I had three fires, my, no, three, three fires in my no three fires three fires I've been through. You know and they she, were into it. I yeah. mean they were all were they into it. I don't, I don't think so. We were we joked about that. Like, oh, she's going to get up there and you know be missing. You know, she had sunglasses on, and we were like, oh, she's not going to have any eyes or something. <laughs> I don't know. It was weird. Because the, uh, <laughs> it was funny. The guy up there was saying, he goes, the, oh, you have one of these smoke alarms at home, don't you? You know, one of these, uh, you know, Kidda. $5 ones yeah. or whatever. These don't last any. Or you get these and they wired to your house. And what happens if you don't have wire? You know, so on. And then this old man goes, well, well, what? What it, what do you suggest is the best? Yeah, yeah it, was like a, it was like an infomercial. Like it, was, see uh, Ron, it was Ron Popeil. Yeah. They were all clapping. Yeah, they were, yeah. It was they seriously were, like that. Yeah, they were making you know sound effects, and it was a lot of callback, call, call you know what do they call that response type thing. Yeah, like, oh, I hate that. I shit. was like, man, is that guy a plant? But then the guy goes, "You're about you're on page ten. I'm only on page seven or something like that." Yeah, to the old man, page ten of the script. Yeah, yeah. And he was. Uh, realign, so, buddy. Realign. Yeah. Obviously, they were they were there to scare people into buying their, their smoke. Al- yeah, their smoke alarm system. But they didn't try to sell you anything there. there. They wanted to come to your house the next day, and he even said, "If if you're not available tomorrow, I can come over right now." Not, yeah, oh yeah. like nine thirty that night on a well Wednesday night. Yeah. So and he wanted they wanted to have both. Uh, if, so the idea was most people came with their spouse, and he wanted to visit your house and drop off some very useful information to you the next day. But he wanted both of you to be home, which I put on so there, so everybody had a postcard, and on the back of it you were expected to put your time that you were going to be available. On the front was your address. On the back you wrote, like, you know, I'm going to be available at 5 p.m. Well, we just put, um, please mail, you know, the information, because... There really wasn't any point in this guy coming to our house. And from what we read online, they come to your house and then they want they they basically talk you into letting them in your house. Sure. And then they try to do like an assessment and start pointing out all your yeah. problems. They light a fire. Hazards. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. It's a whole salesman putting his foot in the door, just you know, to get into your house. Yeah. Right. You know? I mean, leave. from a practical standpoint though the one thing i mean it gets you thinking about like how serious it could be i mean my grandparents as you probably oh yeah know, right their house burned down about a year and a half ago and they literally got out with the clothes on their back i mean their and their house went up in flames they lost everything that they that they owned so i mean it can be real and they said most of the time it happens in the middle of the night and most of the time you only have like a minute or you know somewhere between a minute and five minutes to get out and that was their case exactly. So, but you know, I mean, yeah, they sell a lot of um, that fear, and I just wonder how unsafe our houses really are. And Greg's house hasn't burned down yet. Yeah, yeah my I'm, house is. Feel, yeah. Although if something went up in here, we we'd would, be dead. We'd be dead. Yeah. 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 That'd be the way we'd go. So it, I don't think it was During terrible. It, I wasn't. <laughs> I, I, I didn't say it was terrible. I just don't like the salesman part of Did it. Did you ask about the nest? Because smoke detector? No, I didn't. Because I did, I really didn't want to be on his radar or anything. But he does <laughs> the the um, what he has is similar to the nest. They all talk to each other, and it it can be controlled with an app and all that. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So, but they're like three thousand dollars a piece. Yeah, they were a lot more. I'm sure. Yeah, but, we never got that far. But I know uh, Molly. I mean, even Molly would. She's big skeptic too, and she was saying that uh, she goes, "Yeah, you know, us with a 
daughter coming soon. We really need to do some, you know, make sure we have all proper smoke alarms and all that as well. She goes, if you want to get a whole set of nests, I'd be for that. Hell, yeah. I'd, I'd be. I would have bought those the next yeah. day. What the, why are you waiting? We don't because I don't have. Well, I don't know. I'd have bought that in a heartbeat. So it, anyway. it did make me want to look into like some other alternatives because they kind of the one thing something I thought was inter- interesting was that they talked about how a smoke alarm actually works hmm. and they a lot of times you get false alarms on them because they're not working properly and I know in our house and I'm very guilty of it our smoke our house is 12 years old our smoke alarms we had all kinds of problems with we'd stick you know new batteries in them yep. they would go off and we have two of them in our house that we've taken down yeah. and we haven't replaced them yep I'm in the same boat and you know I mean that I think ours is significantly higher than two, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's get into Halloween talk. Yeah, let's go. I mean, we're all into. I mean, it's kind of fires are kind of a horror Halloween. type situation. Horror. Right? It's scary, scary, scary stuff. You know? Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, Friday we did Molly and I did a uh, trunk or treat. Oh, did you over at uh, the Arnold Lowe's? And hmm. we did this last year. It it was for her. Uh, her work we got together and did that and they told everyone that they should get uh at least three thousand pieces of candy holy crap that's a lot of candy that's a lot of candy like eat so like you and molly were responsible for providing no 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 her her comp because we were at we were at the um well i don't want to say the name of her place a business they're not a sponsor because they're not a sponsor but um yeah, they were responsible for buying the candy, and oh, then we okay. were, you know, because I think I wonder how out. much that candy cost. Man, a that's ton. a lot. Of candy. Oh, yeah. I think they said they spent like, how uh, was it, two hundred and fifty dollars wow, of candy yeah. or something? Wouldn't she? Me. Well, she spent. She got about six thousand pieces of candy. She said, oh, "I'm going to get some extra." Wow, her, her boss or whatever. <laughs> so um, anyway, there was, you know, it was. Started at six thirty. Supposed to go until eight thirty. Eight thirty comes and there's still lines of kids coming. And I mean, you could see and there's people like packing up because they're out of candy and stuff. But there's still many, many kids coming through this line. We were there till about nine, and we finally were like, "We let's go." Um, hmm. You know, I don't want to be here till midnight because yeah. you just keep handing out candy. Yeah. And uh, there was some really cool costumes. The the coolest one was this girl. Um, she was actually a skill crane. Like, she was in this box, and she had all these little stuffed animals around her with, like, a crane oh, yeah. hanging on her head. And it actually worked. It had controls on the front. And really? Everything. There were lights and music playing. Huh. And uh, That's cool. Like, I guess her mom made it for her, and uh, it was... It was probably the coolest costume. There's also remember that there was a movie called Monkey Shines, and I've never seen the movie, but I remember the the uh, the cover of the the artwork on the cover. It looks like this monkey with symbols. Oh yeah, and he was yep. on every bar like in the seventies yep. and eighties. Yep. And he, My dad one. It scared the hell. There was yeah. a kid who had that costume, the yellow with the red. Red and white striped overalls. Wow. Is there a name for it? Yeah, there's a name for it, I think. Hmm. I don't know. Bar Monkey? I don't know. But that was neat. And there was this little kid. He um, he had this Mario costume, but it had like one of those blow-up, uh, you know, those air-blown things yeah. or whatever. <laughs> it looked like he was riding on top of Yoshi. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hmm. It was really neat. Josh's and, dog? Yeah, <laughs> the green dinosaur thing. Oh, and uh, there was a guy in probably the most expensive Deadpool. It looked film accurate. Like really? Like, what? Yeah, it was. And this was an adult. He was yeah. walking around a table to table, like talking like Deadpool and all huh. that. And he was probably What's sweating that? his profanity. No, he didn't do any of that. But uh, he was. Uh, he probably had spent a good, you know. Two grand or so wow. on a costume, I bet. Hmm. 
Because it was some really people neat. are really into it. I uh, would, you know, I was just getting ready to say that would be something I could see Greg doing. Yep. Mm-mm. Yeah. No, he no. would make it himself. No, well, I make true. stuff right. myself. Yeah. Right. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> so it was a lot of fun. And then Saturday we uh, we went to a Halloween party together. Mm-hmm. Your man, I felt so awkward at first because it was mostly your family, and then it was Lori and I. <laughs> what you you're always at my you know family stuff, and you ask. Did it sound negative when he said that? It it's did. Like, you're too. always you're mm-hmm. always no, there. No, I'm saying you never leave. You're oh, you're always there, so you shouldn't feel awkward. I mean. When we don't invite you to family, you're like, oh, here we go. why didn't you invite oh. us? Oh. So, anyway, it was a lot of fun, and you, we took your cider, or you took your cider Man, there? you didn't get to try any of it, did you? <laughs> oh, my God. Holy crap. That stuff went down so easy. Oh, jeez. Make more. Yeah, so it should. Thing. It was really easy. I started out, we had those red <clears throat> Solo Cups. You... Yeah. What are they? They're 16 ounces, right? 16 so, or 18. Yeah, something like that. Maybe 16. I, I started out with little, small pours. Uh, four ounces or so. And I was sipping on it. And then as the evening went on, I guess my pours got a little heavier. <laughs> I felt like I didn't drink that much. And then I remember at the end of the evening, we were playing that horse racing game. And his cousin Dana comes over and says, let me fill up your drinks. And he comes and grabs our glasses and comes back. It was full (laughs) to the top. And I, we were all like, oh my gosh, this is so much. And I drank it all. And man, I was pretty silly after that. It it hit me hard. And I kept saying, (laughs) I kept saying, this cider's strong. (laughs) And Lori was like, oh my God. Finally, we left, and the whole way home, I'm like, that cider was so strong. <laughs> we'll the, go with a headache the next morning. Well, uh, yeah, I took a bunch of ibuprofen before I, I went too. to bed, and then in the middle of the night, I got up. I'm like, oh, I better take some more. Oh, really? Yeah. That was smart. No, I didn't. I Yeah, I, I had a headache the rest the next day. Jeff, uh, my brother, he also was there and he he told me the same thing he goes man your cider was good but that was strong it gave me a headache in the morning i don't think he drank as much but wow. did you ever measure big... the abv in it uh yeah i was i was getting about 6.2 hmm. it, so you you even said whenever you f- took your first drink you said well it's really smooth at the beginning but then you could you could feel the, yeah the the higher alcohol and i think it was higher than 6 i was going to say 6 really isn't that high no I don't know how many ounces I had, but... Yeah, but if you're drinking a lot... I don't know. I don't know. It was good, though. It was really good. So, yeah, I should... We could make some more. It's really easy. Yep. Got all the ingredients. So, yeah. And uh, yesterday, did some pumpkin carving. Yeah? Yeah. Did you have a good one? Did you, yeah. did you eat clean the seeds and cook the seeds? No, we didn't do any of that. Hmm. We just... Scooped it on the table. I was over with, uh, with, uh, yeah, he's yeah, got pictures, pictures there. Here. I was over on Molly's side of the family and, uh, with, with the nephews and all that, uh, making, uh, pumpkins and. He takes this stuff seriously. I, I yeah, get Mr. pretty serious with Mr. it. Mr. Artsy yeah. Fartsy. Man. And, uh, yeah, I, I did a schnauzer, like, uh. That was all freehand? <laughs> sure, yeah, it was all freehand. No pattern at all. But it came out really cool because um, I've never, um, you know how, so, well, I don't know if you've ever done this when carving pumpkins. There's, I did uh, scraping yeah. on part of it, and, uh, you know, it shines through, but it's darker. Right. So I did this that on that pumpkin, and I think it turned yeah. out pretty well. You know who's really good at that? Andy, that you work with. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hmm. Really good. Very artistic. But, uh, it was a fun time. I don't know if it'll last till Halloween, but you know. Did you wash it in bleach? Nah, I heard you gotta do that, so I guess I gotta. Like afterwards, like, after it's yeah, carved, rub it down and bleach. Submerge and like, it. Oh, I heard just submerge it in bleach, yeah, the whole pumpkin. Way. Wow. I, I bleach heard, water or whatever. I heard Vaseline, like you rub Vaseline around all those. Yeah, and that, <clears throat> that would make sense because that kind of seals, seals it. <clears throat> I also heard on the. On the news this morning they were talking about like now is actually an okay time to carve pumpkins because our 
Nighttime lows are expected to be pretty pretty freezing. Yeah, yeah, man, down pretty cold. Yeah, chance. So does that mean just leave it outside? Yeah, yeah, mm. and it shouldn't. You know, do you bring them in? Well, yeah, yeah. Don't bring them in. No, it, that, he's uh, inside. It was uh, Eckert's actually that was. Oh yeah. Uh, re- they are they sponsored? On. They are at this week. Oh uh, yeah, really? Huh. Special, yeah. Where's they, our free pumpkins and right, apples? Running a bushel, fifty pound pumpkin, a bucket of apples. Yeah, no kidding. Um, what else we got to talk about here? Oh, there's a thing about the. Uh, I saw this news article. I thought was kind of interesting about uh, the most popular candies by state. Huh. And uh, lay it on us. <clears throat> what well, would you let's see? I haven't looked at this. You want to? <clears throat> Do, should we start guessing? Like oh, what? Hell, oh, it could be anything. Um, All right. Gosh, yeah. What in the Midwest? Though. So yeah. What do you think? I think candy Missouri. Corn. Missouri. I mean, or, it's conservative so, state. Nothing outrageous. I wouldn't think. Are they? Is it name brands or is it like type of candy? Well, I'll say that candy corn is on the list of states, but it's not. Uh, Missouri, it's not, Missouri. it's not popcorn ball. Which, okay, give us a hint. Is is, is Missouri um, a, uh, a a brand like a candy bar yes. or something? We would yes, guess? Snickers. I was going to say Snickers. No, but you're and on the right track. Milky Way. Huh. Yeah, Milky, Milky Way. Milky Way. Hmm. Okay, how about Illinois, our bordering state? Um, they same hints. Um, <laughs> I already saw the answer. I'm not. Gonna oh. oh, it's not a chocolate candy. Is it? Uh, so it's like a sugary, like Skittles. No. Uh, I mean, you're. Hmm. It is a sugary type candy. Huh. Covered in sugar. Covered in and sugar. Other. And chewy. Hmm. Like think, sour? Yeah. Patch kids? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Oh, really? My kids love those. Yeah. They're Missourians. <laughs> so, Missouri, number one. Well, they. they I guess they what did. Was that? Scroll back down. Hold on. Oh, I'm there's gonna, several candy corn states. It says, blah, I like blah, candy blah. Corn. we figure spending that much on candy. So the amount of Milky Ways in Missouri is 42,739 42, pounds of Milky Way that are sold. Second is double bubble gum, and third is Butterfinger. Double bubble gum? Well, I guess because you buy those in those big old tubs. Yeah. And I don't know if they're counting just Halloween time or just yearly, because I think that would always be popular with uh, like baseball teams and stuff, yeah. buying those big old things. Well, and that stuff's pretty heavily in those cheap uh, assorted bags, too, that right. double bubble. They, yeah, they sprinkle that in yeah. with those. Yeah, yeah those. Yeah. All that bad ones. candy. 100 pieces for yeah, $3. Yeah. Yeah. What's California? Are those white M M&M? and M's? Oh, it's just M and M's. M and M's, saltwater taffy, and Skittles. Man, I like saltwater taffy. That's just such a. But look at all the states that have candy corn. Yeah, I'm really surprised. There's one, two, three, four, five. Montana has double bubble. It just. Uh, well, let's see here. Candy corn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Huh. Six states have candy corn. I mean, I'm surprised there's only a couple. Well, no, there's maybe there's more Snickers, at least three. Blow Pop in West Virginia. Have you I don't know. I would think Skitter, uh, Skitters, <laughs> Snickers. <laughs> I was reading two things at once. Um, I would think Snickers would be the top at mo- a lot of these states, but yeah, it looks like it's, it's not. I think like it's candy corn. Candy corn and. Uh, yeah, candy corn is the biggest one. You ever make your own candy corn? I never have. Have you? No. I've never thought of doing that. Alton Brown did one on a Good Eats episode. Oh, I remember that. Ooh. Yeah. Almond Joy. Connecticut. Con- Connecticut loves Almond Joy. Yeah. I was going to get to that in just a moment. Some of these are <clears throat> like uh, hot tamales. To me, uh, that's yeah, just... That's a year-round. That's not a... But still, is it's that, such a. Likes those. It, you guys like those? Man, I like. I don't think it is that that popular of a candy. People are weird and sixty-five thousand pounds. Do they worth make of it, it in North, North Dakota? Dakota? It's a. It's like a delicacy. <laughs> Maybe there's a plant in North Dakota. or something? <laughs> It could be because it just seems weird to me. I mean, I get all these others and Swedish oh, fish. Oh yeah, Swedish fish in Georgia. 
What? Indiana's got hot tamales as number one. Yeah. Oh. I don't know. We've... That's mm. my oh, refrigerator. That's refrigerator. Yeah. So, uh, so what is your guys' favorite Halloween candy? One you won't pass up like a... And I'm saying if you were to come across this bowl that's filled with... So you're asking Greg to refill the bowl with good candy? <laughs> yeah. Because I've dug through it twice now. And I know. <laughs> if there was one thing in here, like you're not even really wanting to have candy or just... But something is right there that you just cannot pass it up, what would it be for you guys? Can we get a top three? Because top oh, three, geez. holy cow! <laughs> because okay. I'm gonna have to say a hundred grand. Yeah, take five and watch them. I call it. Those mm. are my three. That's, that's pretty damn close to what I was gonna say. Instead of take five, I would have said a payday. Yeah, for me, it's almond joy, and I know most people like cringe at that because yeah. the whole coconut coconut thing. Uh, I like almond joy. I love almond joy, and in fact, it, you're cousin's halloween party there was a bowl similar to this and i just kind of glanced at it didn't really you know i wasn't in- intending to eat a piece of candy and then i noticed <laughs> almond joy sticking out the side of it and i was like "Ooh, had Ooh, to have it piece of candy had to have it huh yeah I, and that's something you don't see that often really almond joy you know uh, i started seeing that more often um well, like I said, whatchamacallit, I right. love whatchamacallits, but I never see those in Halloween anymore yeah. Yeah. in the I think fun you size. S- I think you see Almond Joy, but most people want to pass it up. Like, you know, my kids won't touch them. It's a refined candy. <laughs> it's, that's right. It's for high highbrow. Upper, so right. do you like mounds? Upper Who doesn't? I do like mounds. Because that's the dark chocolate without yeah, the almond. very much. Yeah. <laughs> almond Joy has nuts. Yep. Mounds don't. It's because. not like... <laughs> Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. He just, you know, you knew he, he wanted to. I had to finish it, right? <laughs> um, do you guys get a lot of trick or treaters? I do. Yeah, I live. Your in a, subdivision's rather large. I live in a subdivision right in the center of town, and there's not. Um, and you're right on that yeah. cul-de-sac too. I imagine you get yeah. a ton. So a lot of the folks from the outskirts come in yeah. and drop off their kids and they walk See you around. later in an hour. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll meet you on the other end. Raise hell in here. We'll pick yeah. you up. Um, yeah, go go have fun. It's crazy in my... It, I mean, it, it's pretty much the traffic is shut down. And if you try to leave or come or go during that time, people just give you a really ugly look. And yeah. it's probably people don't even live there. Probably. Like, what are you doing driving through here? My kids are trying to trick or treat. But Yeah, I'm sure it yeah. is. Do you get many living... Here, I don't get any really. Um, it's because the cemetery scares people off. Well, I mean, well, the, f- the first time I was here, like, I was excited having my own house. This was 10 years ago. Um, shit, 11 years now. <laughs> um, language, I was excited having you know, oh, cool, I'll get to give out candy and because I have all this Halloween stuff, smoke, uh, smoke, uh. What do you machine? call it? Smoke yeah. machine. <laughs> Here, what do you smoke think you plug uh, in? It does think machine. Smoke machine and uh, you know strobe lights and all that stuff. And I was all excited having all that out. And I literally had Nothing. like seven kids the first really year. And all my neighbor. I live in a cul-de-sac. All my neighbors have their lights off. Well, yeah, yeah they're all like sixty plus, aren't they? I know, but they don't like giving out candy. They, well, they hate know. the Fourth of July too. It can be hit or miss in my subdivision because I live on the cul-de-sac. And if the people, um, like I'll say halfway up the street, aren't participating, so it, it's a fine line. If mm-hmm. if they start, if the if the trick or treaters notice that the lights going further up the street are off, they won't keep going. They'll turn around and go right. back. I mean, some will. So there's some years that we have actually ran out of candy and dumped our kids' candy in there to just keep giving it away. <laughs> Because Take I, theirs. I don't really want to keep the stuff around, or we'll turn off our light. But then there's been other years, like last year. Um, I don't know if it was because it was on a Monday or what, but um, they uh, we had like almost none, and we had all this candy left over. Hmm. It so. probably does have a lot to do with you know when it falls on a Saturday or right. something like oh, that. Oh yeah, sure. It's a Tuesday night this week, yep. right? Or this year? Yep. Yeah, it's not going to be huge. school night. Yeah. So, uh, let's snack it up. Oh, 
he's still not back on set. Sorry. What do we got? What do we got for snack? Well, Ooh, oh man, another Oreo. I could uh, looking at. I could eat the whole damn thing. Oh no, really? Oh buddy, give me some milk. So these mm-hmm. are Molly got these for us. Uh, cookie butter Oreos. Cookie I, butter. Oh, I thought you said peanut butter. No, sorry. Cookie butter. Uh, graham flavored cookie with cookie buttered flavored what cream. What's cookie yeah, what's cookie butter? Oh, it's a it butter made of cookies. I don't know. It looks good though. My the the white Oreos are my weakness, man. It's a. It comes in a jar. Really? Who makes it? Mm, they smell I don't really know. good. Oh my god, these oh. smell really good. It smells like a cookie. Cookie butter is a food paste made primarily from speculoos cookies. I'm probably mispronouncing it. Speculoos. Cookie crumbs. Fat such as vegetable oil, condensed milk, or butter, flour, and sugar. The ingredients are mixed until it becomes spreadable like nut butter. Nut butter. <laughs> are they good? Mm-hmm. They're really sweet. Oh, yeah? I, I was hoping they that wouldn't whole thing. be. <laughs> yep. And you probably will. You like mm. these, huh? These are good. Yeah, these are much better glass than the mystery. Milk. Glass of milk, and I. Th- this would be gone in ten minutes. Hmm. Easily. This is probably the best Oreo we've had on the show, okay. and we've tried a lot. Mm. I can't. Well, this has got to be our fourth or fifth Oreo. No, I had, think it's like our tenth or eighth. We've had nothing but garbage. Mm. No. The apple pie. Apple pie one was good. Was decent, but this is better. This is a good one. Get those away. Yeah, from me. yeah. I could eat a few of those. I could eat the whole. They're thing. good. Here, eat a few. I sense like cinnamon in it. Yeah, mm-hmm. a hair or nutmeg maybe. Well, I don't know. maybe. That's why you didn't pick the flavor. You ready? I forgot to take this out. Go ahead. You're fondling your bottle. Well, yeah. This was the most Halloween thing I had in my fridge from three years ago. Cellared? Cellared, yeah. Uh, this is from Elysian. This is the cof- a coffee pumpkin ale. It's Punkachino. I'm surprised you're drinking this considering AB owns them now. I think I bought this before they oh. were owned. <laughs> I was like, God, when was that? That was when they had wow. that... That uh, soup, AB had that Super Bowl commercial. It was like last year. No, it was not. Yeah, it was. No, it was not. I know we'll have an answer here in a minute. Mr. Google Pants. Mr. Google Pants. (laughs) Mr. Google Pants? Yeah, that's what we said. That's what we'll call you. What do we know about this beer? It's from Elysian. Well, January 2015. Okay, so two years ago. Almost three. Almost three. It was like right when A B had that uh it was right that after stupid that stupid Super Bowl that commercial. Peach. Yeah. Um Oh pumpkin. I'm sorry. It was two thousand sixteen. Oh, Greg was right. So a pumpkin ale with the attitude of a world weary barista. Punkachino packs a short shot of stump town coffee in your pint with just a shake of cinnamon and nutmeg. Hmm. So there you go. So there's nutmeg in this. It's too. very Halloweeny. There's a pumpkin. Halloweeny? Yeah. The, the you heard him. It's got a spider hanging down on the Some label. Cobwebs. Mm. Yeah, it's got a. Oh, that's yeah. shit in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you poured me one. Thank you. Sorry. Use the new glass. Ooh. That's that's got some. So it's to not. It. It's probably needs to be a little bit warmer. The taste isn't bad. I don't care for the smell. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, It's more subtle in, I get that. in the, flavor than it is around. I don't know what the smell is that's putting me off, though. I don't think it's pumpkin. It's like that allspice smell, I think. That kind of that potpourri smell. It, yeah, maybe. They overdo that with everything. Who's they? Their Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I actually uh, f- 
find this uh, quite pleasurable. Punkachino. <laughs> No, I do. I, you get I think pleasure that, from that. I think this is pretty good. I'm not a big fan of pumpkin, um, but uh, when you put it in a stout form, it makes it a little bit more tolerable. This is an ale. <laughs> it's. I thought it said it is ale. Is this? Uh, no. Well, it's so snarky today. I know. I, I guess am. they mix it with coffee, and there you go. Yeah. Does it? Is it real pumpkins? <laughs> well, I don't. You're asking him the hard question. <laughs> Uh, 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 I don't know. Doesn't say. Pumpkin Some, extract. Probably. I'm guessing we can't get this one anymore, huh? This is probably valuable. We just drank it. We just drank it. Pumpkin Probably worth a couple thousand. Yeah, probably a couple thousand dollars. Yeah. If, man, I would... <laughs> you would what? Buy, buy some... Spit nest, it out! I'd be like, pour it back in! <laughs> <laughs> Buy some smoke alarms. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Man, I'm serious. If Annette told me that I could buy nest ther- nest uh, smoke alarms, they'd be bought. Well, you've got the nest fun, I guess. Oh, it's still a You thing. have a nest? I Yeah, the thermostat, but not the smoke alarms. No, I don't. So, uh, on TV this week, while he's looking that up... Survivor. Um, oh, what are you going to talk about the Michael Jackson animated thing? No, what are, some, tell, tell me about there that. There was a we saw an advertisement last night. There's a Michael Jackson Halloween animated thing Friday night. Really? Yeah, I didn't know that. It reminded me a lot of uh, Nightmare Before Christmas animation. It's got um, not Jim. Par- yeah, Jim Parsons is a voice. Um, I can't remember who else, but it. It might be on CBS, because we were watching a bunch of CBS shows last night. The strange, spooky story be- behind, behind Michael Jackson's Halloween. Huh. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, it's going to be on CBS Friday night. So there's also, remember that uh, Saturday Night Live, uh, David S. Pumpkins, the uh, Tom Hanks? Uh-uh. That's this was familiar. This was last year. So they go in this torture, like... There's a couple. They go into this haunted um, elevator of horror or whatever. Mm. Yeah, I do remember that now. (laughs) Then the elevator's open, and it's like some scary scene, and they close, and they go up to another. And then this one guy, (laughs) then they get to this one. It's like, hi, I'm David S. Pumpkins. (laughs) Yeah. And then it was just goofy. It was two skeletons dancing, and he's like, any questions? (laughs) And that was it. Like, yeah. there's lots of questions. Yeah. And they go, how, how many how many David S. Pumpkins floors are there? Well, there's about 70% of them. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, there's a whole animated special on him, too. On that, huh? Really? Yeah. Hmm. Which, I don't I I mean, it was like the perfect amount of time. It was like a five-minute skit. I don't know if they could do a whole half hour of that nonsense, you hmm. know. Yeah. But uh, I'll have to check out the Michael Jackson thing. That sounds interesting. Um, they had the great pumpkin Charlie Brown on the other day. Oh, was it really? Yeah. I always you're, miss those. You're shaking your head. I, he uh, hates it. No, I, they're fine. It's, oh, we talked I about hear, this I hear before. a story. Right. No, no, we talked about uh, the peanuts before. What? <laughs> what did we talk <laughs> about? What did... Man, I don't remember talking. About I don't remember that. talking about that with you. That's all we ever talk about the peanuts. <laughs> so I, I, it's not my favorite either. Yeah, it's kind of just like oh God, the stupid. But kid you watched in the pumpkin it, patch. You? Well, of course, you know, of course. It's tradition. What else is a forty-year-old yeah. man going to do? You know, I well, like talk about peanuts. <laughs> so, so what's your favorite like? I I love um like Roseanne I think had some of the best oh, yeah, Halloween yeah. episodes yeah. ever. Yeah. I remember that was the show or that show I should say was the first time I really started to see those really good uh carved pumpkins. Yeah. Um I yeah. don't think I ever saw it before that show. Yeah. Like you were referring to with the scraping. And yeah, all that. yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think they had like uh pictures of yeah. John Goodman and Roseanne. Their actual and, faces of the yeah. characters. It was really good. 
but I re- those episodes, like especially the early ones, mm-hmm. where they try to be out pranking each other and like, yeah, I just I That's don't a know. Good call because they were always because they didn't they didn't uh, hold back either. There'd always be blood everywhere or something yeah. like that. Like I remember the one trying to prank her like uh he had his hand in the garbage disposal yep. like oh <laughs> his blood <laughs> squirting out yeah. yeah yeah those were good it's a good show wasn't but, there another show that i'm trying to think there was somebody um, else that did the prank thing the drew carey show did they do something like that they may like have Halloween? i'm thinking how i met your mother did too did they i remember always being the hanging chad or whatever for yeah. halloween yeah because yeah. sexy pumpkin was a Oh yeah, early one. Yeah. yeah, there was a bunch of those. Hmm. Man. Were you looking for a favorite favorite movies? Huh. I don't. I can't think. What What are your What's your favorite? Um, oh yeah, you know he's got a thesis movies. prepared. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you asked. I don't have a thesis. <laughs> Thanks for reading yeah. the line. Yeah. You know that you don't see on TV. I love the Garfield Halloween special. Can't say I ever I saw. I think it. it was awesome. <laughs> I think Odie gets lost and they gotta go find oh, him. Oh, I do remember yeah. that. And yeah. then they're out trick or treating yeah. or something. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's good that stuff. That might have been a regular for a while. I think it, yeah. And nope, not anymore. Now they gotta bring in David S. Pumpkins and mm. Michael Jackson. Yeah. That's weird that they would choose Michael Jackson. I mean, it's like. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Well, maybe. Maybe they had the rights to thriller, so right. Like, it looked like yeah. there was a thriller scene. I in mean, it. obviously, when you think of Halloween and music, yeah, that's with Vincent Price's intro, right? That's yeah. that's up there. It's you know, mm-hmm. it's got to be up there. I heard a uh, actually, I was listening to the radio the other day, and they were talking about the top Halloween songs or whatever, and it was. It was funny. One guy on the show had never heard of the Monster Mash. Really? Like, how is that possible? It was probably a lie. Yeah. <laughs> it had to have been, you know? Who the... Uh, the Monster Mash. Yeah, no kidding. So, there was a uh, another article I saw here about the best, best horror movies to watch on Netflix right now. Hmm. Okay. Who so, hit rated me. these? Um... Great. <laughs> this is from Fuse.tv. Okay. I don't know if, who okay. Fuse is. Oh, they're a network, aren't they? They used to be. I, don't, I guess they still are. They used to play uh, videos, right? I think so. Anyway, let's see. Let's run down a list. We got Cult of Chucky, which is a new one for this year. Really? Wow. Oh, Ch- Six Sense. The Six Sense. That's a good movie. The Invitation. I uh, can't say I've heard of that. that. Saw. Yeah. Hostel. That's another torture one. Never saw that. Children of the Corn. Baba Duke. No, not that one. Wes Craven's New Nightmare. Okay, that's that one where it's kind of a parody of itself, right? Isn't that that's Nightmare on Elm Street? But um, like the all the actors and Wes Craven's there and then, oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It was and almost they like go, they were, yeah, they were like filming. Like they a played real. like she played like her actual character, like her actual self, mm-hmm. and not the character. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Okay. I've never seen that. Hellraiser. VHS. That's another one I never saw. Mm-mm. It follows. Train to Busan. Raw. Hush. And the Void. No, well, I, I call foul on this. Way too many of these movies are from 2016. Yeah, there's a lot of newer ones. Now, the Chucky one, at least it's a franchise I've heard of, you know? It's from, uh... And that's a brand new one. Do you, you guys ever see any of those child Child's Play movies? Yeah, those movies? were scary. Yeah. Well, I'd say the first one and the first second one. one. Yeah. Then they just started getting goofy. Well, it was around that same time that that uh, my buddy was out, mm-hmm. and yeah, yeah, they looked just like him. Yeah, yeah. and and that I, I, I well, how old were we? We had to be like grade maybe school, 10? maybe. Yeah. So early eighties. 
They were scary. Uh, yeah, mid eighties maybe. The first one was nineteen eighty eight, so that would be eleven about years old. Ten or eleven, yeah. Was ten. So you were like twenty three. Who? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're that much older than you. <laughs> so I don't know if I'd be playing with my buddy dolls still, but I Josh was apparently. I guess or, I yeah. was cabbage patch dolls. Yeah. yeah, you had them all. I guess. But uh, yeah, that was a scary movie. I did watch Children of the Corn last year. I've never, you know, I've never seen that. Really? It's one of those that you never really see anything. Right. I think I may have talked about this last year. That even the the gruesome, well, there's no gruesome scenes really. It's it's all cutaway stuff. Right. So you see, you know, somebody's getting ready to be stabbed and then you just see them dead. <laughs> With blood on, you know. And that's how uh, all of those older, you know, 80s, early 80s movies were like that. There was, right, I, mean, I won't say why do we have a lot of noise all of a sudden? Yeah, it was very little. Um, Still there. Oh, very, very difficulties. Very little on scene. It's mine. It's you. Oh, Greg's microphone's broken. Um, very little on scene um, effects. Yeah. Horror. Guess. Hello. Yeah. yeah. I, I, yeah. I, Psycho, you know, you right. never saw yeah, the right. knife Good go example. in. Yeah. 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 I saw um, part of. Uh, Halloween 2 um, the other night and it wasn't you know anything like what I mean hell you watch Walking Dead or or whatever I mean they're so gruesome compared to what that stuff was you know 20 years ago and what changed that I don't know when did that change I remember Mortal Kombat I remember remember (laughs) very very vividly I was probably gosh I was a little I was a little guy I was at my grandparents house and they had um, HBO, and th- so this th- this had to be at least thirty plus years ago, um, and they were watching a movie, and you know I had never seen anything graphic, um, I-, I guess Oops. at that point, and I remember walking down the stairs at the moment, whatever movie they were watching, and something horrific happened, like an accident or maybe it was a horror movie or whatever, but I remember seeing a guy's head get chopped off, and the head was laying on the like the pavement or on the ground or whatever, and I clearly vividly remember this and 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 his like mouth was still like kind of moving it was just a head so like almost like if you're you know those last muscle movements or whatever were occurring and that just like stuck with me it gave me nightmares i don't know what it was i have no idea what movie it was probably Uh, if you saw it today you'd be like i was scared of that it would be so so fake yeah but at the same time um watching walking dead the other night and one of they had that explosion and like all these zombie parts are everywhere and there's a there was a just a head, head there and it was <laughs> like moving, moving and it re- so it reminded me of that yeah, flashback. Flashback. Yeah, I had a flashback <laughs> of something I probably saw 35 years ago and it's just so but my and my as my little my young kids are sitting there watching it I mean my my youngest is 11 and he's sitting there watching it like no big deal you know they're so immune to it desensitized now. yeah it's crazy I don't it's crazy know how graphic that stuff is and back then it was. You didn't see any of that. Huh? Well, well, you know, a lot of it has, I guess some of it has to do with uh, the PG-13 rating being added and then ratings for TV. Yeah. So right. they're able to do more because... Because they have a disclaimer. Yeah, they have disclaimers and all that. And, I mean, what was it? The two movies in 84, uh, Gremlins and Raiders of the or, um, Temple of Doom. Those were the two movies that were PG, but probably should have been PG-13. And after those came out, they came out with that PG-13 rating. Huh. Because huh. they're pretty graphic, you know, but they're not R-rated, you know. Remember they're, Gremlins being that graphic, isn't it? Eh, I mean, there's a lot of... Blows up a Gremlin in the microwave, in the blender, chopping up people with knives. Huh. I mean, I like your definition of PG thirteen that you said uh, a week or so ago when we went to go see that movie, oh. <laughs> uh, Happy Death Day. I said, well, I, I looked it up and I said, well, it's rated PG thirteen, so my eleven year old should be fine watching it. And he goes, yeah, so PG thirteen is one F word and one side boob. <laughs> <laughs> and what did you see in that movie? <laughs> yeah, I think you saw exactly that. Really? There was one F word. There was one, yeah. And I don't know if there's any side boob, but yeah. Yeah, I don't know about that. But there was definitely one F word. Huh. Yeah. Which, uh, Walking Dead is, well, actually a lot of those cable shows. One a season. One a season. Yep. Really? 
Breaking you know Bad that? and uh, yeah. Yeah, they started that a few years ago. Huh. Interesting. A lot of those shows will do one a season. I guess it's what they can get away with. Their rating allows them to do I that. I guess. The mature. Right, mature audience. Yeah. So we're kind of still, I mean, we've been talking about childhood memories already. That was our pop culture segment. Oh, uh, hang on. You have any, uh, like, costumes that you remember as a kid that were embarrassing or just very, you're very proud of or anything? Nah. Now, Not really. Look at you, you have nothing. I have I had one um that I remember again as I was a little bitty guy. Um and a headless I, horseman. I, you might not be able to tell now because I'm not as I geeked out over it as you guys are. But I was a big Star Wars fan when I was a little you kid. Hate it now. I don't yeah, hate it, but hate I'm not. It. I don't hate it. Probably- I just don't geek out over it like you guys do. But um, I guess it was from Empire Strikes Back, and I should have pulled this up. But um, my I got the uh, the Yoda costume. Oh, and it was the old the like Plastic kind of one dimensional. What do they call those? Um, face mask with the rubber band that goes yeah. around the back here, yeah. yeah. And, and then the the uh, the the body part <laughs> it just had a picture of Yoda on it, so it was real cheesy. A lot of those costumes back oh, then, they were like the awful. Late seventies, yeah. early eighties were were just totally awful. Um, but my mom, she did. She took the mask and added. Um, I had like a robe, and back then you could dress up when you went to school, which kids don't do now. No. And they're oh, they actually don't? they're no. actually not even called Halloween parties. They're fall called festivals. Fall festivals. Oh, really? Yeah. That's dumb. Yeah, sorry, man. Yeah, just wait. You're yeah. six years from now, you'll be fine. Yeah. Out. So, um, my mom kind of created a whole costume around that where I had um, that. Uh, what did he wear? Like a robe, kind of. Yeah. Yoda did, and um, I think he had like a, almost a rope tied around his waist. And then she made, it was kind of like a lightsaber, I guess, um, but she just used whatever we had around the house. So I think it was some kind of a, uh, I don't know, some kind of a pole. And then it had, um, at the bottom, she had, she wrapped up like um, aluminum foil around it to make it look like the, you know, the, the bottom of the lightsaber. It was all handmade, but I thought it was so cool. And I remember going, I had to be like first grade, and all the kids were just like, so impressed with this costume. I was like, I, I, I like won the, you know, won the day over. Oh, oh there goes the oh, pumpkin oh, and the spider. Right. And spider. Sorry. I, w- I was going to turn it, but I didn't. Uh, ben Cooper, those are the type of mask. Ben Is Cooper. it one of those where it had the ma- the like mask with a rubber band and yep. then had like this, it came with like a plastic kind of like smock type thing? Yeah, yeah. exactly. But we did away with that smock. And- yeah. Made the whole outfit. So if you look up Ben Cooper and when uh, you go home yeah. and Yoda costume, you'll hmm. see your. Uh, I did look it up. Yeah, it was pretty awful. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty bad. Um, why would Yoda be wearing a shirt with himself? <laughs> yeah, on it? they all, were all like all that, of those though. Donald Duck and be a Donald Duck, but then they have Donald Duck and yeah, then, you know, so or, stupid. It made no sense. Why? Yeah, yeah. you know, man, we are just a collection of noises we're noisy today it's kind of like being in a dungeon it's spooky now know? greg had a lot of has had a lot of amazing costumes over the years well when i was a kid though i remember uh i i was a uh, ghostbuster yeah that was one of my favorite costumes and it was just so cheap i mean it was literally stuff that i threw together with a backpack and a like I had a, a gray long sleeve shirt, so I kind of had the look the go yeah. and then I had like my name, you know, like a name tag or whatever. <laughs> Was it M- Mushong or <laughs> Yeah, it did say Mushong, yeah. yeah. He's one of the characters. No, I probably should have <laughs> but mom, I don't know. Probably would have made more sense instead of having a little kid showing Frank off Man. his name to everyone. <laughs> his but, you know, it was the eighties. So, um, and I had a backpack, and I, I had, I remember this, I had like a cord from like a microphone or something going to a, a, um, paper towel tube, yeah. like, and then in the paper towel tube, I had like a flashlight oh, that I could okay. turn on and off. That That's was my, good. 
that was my phaser and my friend went with me he was a ghost so uh uh-huh. we were both uh kind of every place we go you want to see our our act we have and it all it was was me like turning a flashlight <laughs> on him and him going <laughs> so you know, in early days couples costume <laughs> yeah pretty I much so. i guess yeah <laughs> But, you've had uh, a lot. You've had a lot of really good homemade costumes, though. The yeah, D- the Duffman one was really, Duffman really good. was yeah that one from the Simpsons stood the test of time because yeah. that one won me several costume contests. Yeah. You know, it was really well done. Really, uh, a uh, any kind of beer loving character you take it to the bar, you're gonna win. You yeah. Know? So I did. I did pretty well with that. You were. Uh, um, uh, Doc from Back to oh, the Doc Future. Brown, yeah, Doc I Brown. won, yeah, and you won a con- costume contest, yeah, yeah. You've done really well for yeah. yourself over the years. <laughs> well, a few years ago, Look, he's getting excited. Yeah, a few years ago, I dressed up as the. I put the Duff Man. I brought. I got the Duff Man costume back out, yeah. and uh, we went to um, uh, one of the local bars in town, mm-hmm. and I won the costume contest there. And then I knew down the street, Mark, he worked at Rumors. Mm-hmm. He goes, you better get down here if you want to be in our... So I ran down there and got in that costume contest. And I only got second. Some sec girl with, oh. you know, scantily clad. Oh. I mean, obviously. Rigged. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Come on. Should have showed your she, <laughs> she won. I got second place. But their prize was a cash prize. I got like 20 bucks. Oh, from yeah. Them. That's right. And from, uh, what was it? The office. That's where I won the other one. They gave me credit or whatever, like hundred dollars credit. Jeez. I probably, wow. I probably still yeah. have credit probably there. Do. You know, you were the Riddler one year. You made that yeah. whole costume out of stuff you got at uh, like uh, Goodwill. Good Goodwill. Yeah, yeah, That's a good one. Finding a green suit. Yeah. Oops. Yep. Well, gentlemen, it's about that time. Do you want to do tech real quick? That's I fine. just want to make I just want to make note of this. This has nothing to do with Halloween, but I I found this scary actually. <laughs> Did so you really the, see? I find it interesting. So Amazon Key, it's this new um, it's this new thing from Amazon that basically allows your delivery driver to get into your house and drop their package off what? in your house. Yeah, without like they have. You get like a smart lock and a what a camera mm-hmm. and some yep. app or whatever. Huh. So it's not like Amazon uses their own team of of uh, delivery guys. You have to you rely on the post office, uh, FedEx, uh, UPS. UPS. Yeah, I wonder if that's going to change though. Are they? <clears throat> you know, for me that they open up the door to my house, I'm going to have dogs just barking at yeah. them like crazy. Yeah. yeah. You know, and I know they're supposed to just open up your door and put it there and close it. That's what they're supposed to do, but they have access to your house. You know, that's that's why there's a camera. Is this to decrease the theft of those packages off your front porch? That's, yeah, that's really what it is. Hmm. Now, luckily, I live in in a fairly safe area where I haven't had an issue, but, you know... If I did live in a more dangerous area, would I want someone to go into my house? You know, I don't know. Yeah, that's strange. I find it interesting. Would you get one? Possibly. Really? Hmm. I don't know. I'd rather just build, like, a a box in front of my house. Yeah. That A mailbox? (laughs) No, just a big box. Like, a wooden box or something that they could... Put a package in there and close it, and once it's closed, it's locked. You know, something like that. Well, unless you were getting multiple deliveries in one day. Well, then you, <laughs> then I don't know. Well, you could put the Amazon lock on that box. Yeah, right. yeah that, that's good that idea. would be an idea. As yeah. long as every courier had that key code, yeah, that's, non-Amazon and Amazon. Yeah. I mean, majority of my stuff is Amazon, but... Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> it's been a fun Halloween show. Yeah, very Halloweeny. Very Halloweeny. So, guys, uh, go to stuckinbetapodcast dot com and uh, visit all our social networks and all that. Uh, subscribe and rate, review. All you gotta do, you know what you gotta do. 
Give us five stars, I guess. Give us five stars. And uh, I guess that's it. See you next time.